Good evening everyone and welcome back to another match in WWE 2K22, another match in the first round of our Tournament of Death here at the St. Valentine's Day Massacre pay-per-view. Oh, I forgot to breathe there for a second. We have got from left to right Masada, Sick Nick Mondo, Madman Pondo, and the Necro Budger, again Fatal 4-Way Elimination Tables match. Let's crack a luck into the action, I think this is going to be a debut for Madman Pondo I believe. Who I only know limited amounts of because of, um, there was a video series I watched on YouTube years ago and it was like funny IWA and CZW moments and a lot of it was Madman Pondo interaction with the crowd. He is very funny. Not obviously the best wrestler in the world, but he wasn't going out there to be a Brian Danielson. He was going out there to be a deathmatch wrestler, really. Uh, Sick Nick, I'm pretty sure we have used in the past. Necro Butcher we've definitely used as well. Let's put Mad Man. Oh, I've got Madman Fulton on the rankings already. Now we've got Madman Pondo. Here we go, attack team. The Madman. Uh, and we've got Sick Nick Mondo. Yep, Sick Nick Mondo's on there as well. He's on a minus one after two matches. Obviously, Madman Pondo with nothing. Masada currently three matches a minus one. And Necro um, four matches minus one. So nobody here is in a is in a positive at this point in time. But this is the opportunity. These are where you get your ranking points. Like I said, a point for every elimination, an extra point for the winner. So four points up for grabs here, and we have seen already somebody do that. Somebody got all three eliminations and the win. Well, there's Masada has somehow managed to uh, to defeat the laws of physics and all sorts to to teleport sick Nick Mondo's foot through one of the tables. I mean, that doesn't count as putting him through the table, but literally he has gone through the table, just not broken in the process. It's incredible. As Masada now with a powerbomb to the outside. It's a shame the table's not there. That would have been a really cool elimination. As Masada now looking to set up that table on the middle of the ring. That's how nobody ever tries to set up a table outside the ring. But now Masada set that table up. Madman Pondo willing the Necro Butcher back into the ring, but that's not going to be the case. These two, I'm pretty sure Necro Butcher and Madman Pondo have had many a death match between the pair of them across America. It's amazing to think the, the, the terrifying stuff these people put themselves through. And literally they're in front of like 100 people at max. It's crazy when you look at it, but I mean... It, it's, it can be entertaining in the right... I don't know. I've watched deathmatch wrestling in the past. I think in small dribs and drabs, it can be uh, entertaining. Uh, like, full-on tournament of death sometimes become a bit too much for me, I must say. Sometimes a bit too much for me. Uh, only, I mean, there's one where... Um, Years ago, I think it was John Moxley and Brain Damage. Brain Damage will be part of this competition at some point as well. Um, I think uh, there was a, a rotary saw involved. Obviously, it had a fake blade on it, so it didn't actually cause any damage. There was also one, I think, involving Moxley. I don't know if it was Moxley or not, no, actually. That involved a syringe that went through somebody's cheek. Oh, God. Some of the stuff these people get up to is absolutely insane. I mean, they're all on drugs, obviously. As Masada now in trouble as Necro Butcher has him in position up. And Necro Butcher just last rides Masada through the table. Masada is eliminated. Necro Butcher picks up the point and he moves up to a zero in the rankings. Masada drops down to a minus two after four matches. Of course, Masada generally uh, only really gets a, a little uh, trip out and about whenever there's a hardcore tournament involved, to be honest. A sickening Mondo there. Big kick in the head of Necro Butcher. This is opportunity now, though. The table's set up. Mondo is on the outside, so it's literally... No, not Mondo, that's Pondo. I'm going to get so mixed up with Mondo and Pondo, aren't I? The table does collapse under the weight of... Um, well, under the springiness of that. Attack, and there's a pile driver onto the closed table. No damage onto the table there, though. So nothing... Uh, no eliminations there. As Necro Butcher, a knee right into the thigh. That is incredibly painful. If anyone's just walked up and kneed you in the thigh before, you know how much that hurts. 
proper dead leg. It is not pleasant at all. Necro Butcher now taking down Sick Nick Mondo. And now the table's being set up. Necro Butcher after one elimination looking potentially for a second one here on Madman Pondo. As the table set up, a Pondo fighting back with the elbows and the gut of Necro Butcher. Big boot, and now Mondo is in to take down Pondo. Mondi Pondi. Mondo now with a boot in the gut. Oh, Mondo catches the boot of Madman Pondo, dropping him face first across the top. And lovely takedown. Necro Butcher in with that DDT. And now Necro Butcher in control. Taking Nick Mondo up onto the shoulders, drops him. But it doesn't matter, you can drop him as much as you like until you put him through a table. Nothing really matters. Nothing really matters. Necro Butcher with those knees right in the fire again. Like I said, such a painful manoeuvre to knee somebody in the fine. I keep saying fine. Knee somebody in the thigh. Not fine. Necro Butcher now dumping Madman Pondo to the outside. Nick Mondo now taking Necro up on the shoulders. And one winged angel. Madman Pondo now still on the table to slide it into the ring. And uh, still these lot, are, these lot are really taking advantage. I think that the likes of Mondo, Pondo, Necro, Butcher don't get a lot of opportunities in the universe. Uh, mainly when the Hardcore Championship tournaments do come out. So I think what they're doing here is they're absolutely milking this. Pondo now again. That's, that's Mondo, not Pondo. I, I, why did I put these two guys in the same freaking match? Why? I'm just, I'm just destroying my own brain. Necro Butcher now with those big knees right into the gut, and Nick Mondo struggling here, just about holds on to the ropes until he gets out. Absolutely brutalized. And now it's Madman Pondo on the outside working over Nick Mondo. Sick Nick Madman. So what I need to really do is stick to names. Probably the easiest way of doing it, isn't it, really? As Nick Mondo here in full control once again. Now taking Madman Pondo up into that X-Plex. Oh my god. Apologies, I went to check the time on my phone and it started playing a Raid Shadow Legends advert. Great. Madman Pondo now back inside the ring. Going to set that table. It's already set up and ready to go, but he needs to bring one of his opponents in, I suppose. Or, I mean, at the moment, he can let them just demolish each other and pick up the pieces when they come inside, I suppose. It's not the worst idea in the world. He just sort of backs off now and just leaves them to it. It's a shame I put different weapons under the ring and everything. They're just not using them. I really wish they would use some different stuff. Nice drop in. Nick Mondo face first. Necro Butcher now sending Madman Pondo into the ring. Nick Mondo sending Necro Butcher in. And finally we're back in the ring. Are we going to get another elimination soon? Wow, what a 
big spinning boot that was by Nick Mondo. Necro Butcher fighting back. And Necro Butcher dropping him onto the broken table. And Necro Butcher did some incredible maneuvers. But it doesn't matter, like we said before, the record books are only ever going to show who went through the table. That's all it's going to show. You can hit as many big, impressive maneuvers as you really want to. And Necro Butcher taking Madman Pondo up into the powerbomb through the table. Necro Butcher gets his second elimination. Madman Pondo is down and out. And Necro Butcher is going to move up. He was a minus one when this match began. He now moves up to a plus one. With still an opportunity for two more points in this one. There's still one more table left to be broken. And Sick Nick Mondo's trying to get hold of that table, but uh, Madman Pondo sat on it, which is not ideal. Now the table is in play. It's set up, but it's knocked straight down. Necro Butcher now taking the advantage. Big strike in the face. As Nick Mondo taking Necro Butcher up. And he's going to drop him one winged angel on to the fallen table. Now setting that table up. Springboard 450 now by sick Nick Mondo. Uh, one of those other ones who's a very talented um, wrestler who chooses to do a lot of deathmatch stuff. And uh, it's not the be all or end all as he just t bones Necro Butcher through the table. Sick Nick Mondo moves through Necro Butcher. Still gains a point from this one. Moves up to a zero after five matches. But Sick Nick Mondo. He gets the win and the elimination point. Moves him up to a plus one overall. But more importantly, moves him through to the quarterfinals. Sick Nick Mondo. And there we go. Sick Nick Mondo is through to the quarterfinals. He is the fifth man there after Sammy Callahan, Pagano, New Jack and Mr. Pogo. Uh, we have got another big match coming up for you later on today, I think. Oh, I forgot which order I've done these in now. I think we've got for you later on today, we've got the match between Mike Awesome, Masato Tanaka, Raven and Al Snow. That is this evening's matchup, so hopefully you will enjoy that one. Of course, if you have enjoyed this one, hit the like and subscribe if you're not already. And of course, I'll see you on later today for our sixth match in the Tournament of Death here in the St. Valentine's Day Massacre pay-per-view. Good night!